everyone and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Candyware and today I will be showing you how to make this cute little cranberry cake. Hi everyone! So I have my little co-host with me today. So I've got Blaze. Um, he'll probably jump off now. Anyways, um, I just wanted to say a welcome to Candyware if you are new. Um, here we make a whole bunch of adorable DIYs, mostly made out of polymer clay and made into food items. Um, but if you are returning, thank you for coming back. Like I said in the description at the beginning, today we're going to be learning how to make a super simple polymer clay uh, Christmas inspired cake. I am wearing the ones I made last year. And I will leave a link in here or in the description box to that cake. But um, so just let your imagination go with this one. I'm showing you the basic on how to make it, but then you can definitely make it into a necklace or earrings. And I have a different variations of this on my Etsy shop. So don't forget to check out that. Um, this time I am doing my items that are in this DIY a little bit differently. I've got a link right under this video in the description box that leads you to where I've curated a kit type item where it shows you pictures of all of the items like the different bricks of polymer clay and all of the different items. So I definitely suggest you check those out. I have definitely found the ones that are the cheapest and the easiest to come by online. And uh, yeah, so I hope you make this with me. It didn't take very long, I want to say under 20 minutes. But again, uh, enjoy and let your imagination run wild. So let's get to it. Remember to find the link with all the, all the items used in this video. So first you're going to take your Sahara clay and run it through your pasta machine at a three setting. And I like to fold it over once. And then I am using a um, little uh, cut out that I made of a triangle with a rounded bottom and you're just going to cut out two slices of that for the clay for the cake and um, If it's a little bit soft like mine, you're just going to um, work it back together and Then from there you're going to tease it with your needle points. You're just going in circular motions over all the pieces of the cake scratch that not the very back just the two sides after that, you're going to take some white clay and roll that through the pasta maker on the three setting also. This time, do not fold it over and use the same template that we used. Now this is going to go in between the two slices of uh, Sahara clay that we made. So add on the top portion. And this is what it looks like once you have teased the clay. So I hope you liked the couple of images at the beginning to show you some ideas of what you could do with the little cranberry cake that we're making. So we're also going to be taking some red clay and rolling that into a long snake and then pulling out little pieces and just rolling it in our fingers to try and make a little round cranberry-like piece and we're going to be adding that on the inside of the cake, only on the Sahara part, not on the white. The white's the icing. You're just going to keep adding on until you're happy with how many slices or how many little pieces of cranberry you've added onto both sides of the clay that we have previously teased. And that's what it looks like. So once you're done that on both sides, we're going to be taking some um, liquid Fimo that we've already made into icing and I'll leave a link in the description box below and right in the top hand right hand corner. So we're going to be adding on some icing where we have added the white. Now this is definitely an optional step. This is just what I like to do to make it look a little bit more realistic. So what's everybody doing for the holidays? What are you thankful for this year? Let me know in the description box below. So you're going to bake that for just five minutes so that it can harden nicely. And we're going to be adding on uh, some more icing to the very top of the cake. Once you're able to touch the clay, I should say. 
and then you're going to take the icing and take and just drag that along the back end of the cake also and then we I have already made some cranberries again with the same color that we used on the side and I like to add on um, four or five of them to just stack them up so th four together and then one on the very top and then you want to bake that for about 20 minutes according to your clay's instructions and after that you're going to be adding on some gloss so I am using the Sculpey gloss and again you can find that in the description box below so I'm putting the icing not only on or the gloss not only on the icing and on the cranberries but also on the icing on the inside and that's what it looks like thanks so much for watching everyone please don't forget to check out my Etsy shop and don't forget to subscribe let me know what you thought of this DIY and happy just before New Year's Eve or Christmas Eve I should say which is tomorrow um, but yeah please let me know what you'd like me to make in the new year and thank you so much for making this year a wonderful year on candyware bye everyone